In this lesson I would like to show you some interesting features in working with tables. So, if I click on this table here, if I go to this style option, let's scroll down a bit. Now as you can see I'm in this matrix box. Previously we had only one metric, it was profit, so we had only one value here. Now we have, as you can see, multiple values. You can see here column 1, column 2, column 3. Basically we have three columns here, so we have three values here. If we add another column, we will have four sections here. This means that we can format each of these columns separately. For example, we have interesting option. If we click on this number, we have ability to choose one of these features. For example, instead of just presenting number, we are able to present heat map. If I click on that, let's see what will happen. We will be able to see heat map for this first column. This is very nice feature and this way you can emphasize some values. For example, from this situation we are able to see that this value is the biggest in this case. Also, let me modify this cost of sales column. If I scroll down, instead of number, let's choose bar this time. So we will be able to see bar charts in this cost of sales column. This way we will be able to visualize our data. We can also show number here next to these bars. So this way we can understand our numbers and also see the, the visualizations. What we could also add is this show target option. For example, if I click on that, I'll be able to include value that will be our target value basically. Let's put for example 20 million just to see what will happen. If I click on that, you will be able to see that we have now this line here that is showing our target value. If we put for example 10 million, you will be able to see that line is presented here. So this is also a nice feature. Now that we completed that, let's go back to this setup button. And now I would like to do something else. I would like to, because you, you are able to see that we have three metrics. Let's say we would like to see only one metric, but we would like to allow stakeholder just to choose which of these metrics would like to see in their table. So, how can we do that? We can click on this optional metrics here and I will be able to just move those values here. This way we will be able to see only one value, only for sales. But you can see that we have this button optional metrics here, so let's see what it can does. If I click on this view button here, if I go to this optional metrics, as you can see, a sales is checked, so we are able to see only sales. So if I click on cost of sales, we will be able to see both of these columns. If I click on profit, we will be able to see all three columns. I would like only to see profit, so if I click on that, we are able to see our profit column.